East Kalimantan, Indonesian, Kalimantan Timur, is a province of Indonesia. Its territory comprises the eastern portion of Borneo. It has a population of about 3.5 million, and its capital is Samarinda. East Kalimantan has a total area of 129,066.64 square kilometers, 49,832.91 square miles, and is the second least densely populated province in Kalimantan. The majority of the region shares a maritime border to the east with West Sulawesi and North Sulawesi. Its coastline faces the Makassar Strait and the Celebes Sea. Its former northernmost region is now North Kalimantan. To its south, East Kalimantan borders the South Kalimantan Province. The province bordered Sabah before the split, but still borders Sarawak. East Kalimantan is now divided into six regencies and three cities. Isran Noor the current governor of East Kalimantan and Hadi Mulyadi is its vice-governor. History East Kalimantan was once mostly covered by tropical rainforest. There are several kingdoms in East Kalimantan, including the Kingdom of Kutai, Hindu, Sultanate of Kutai ng Martadipura, and the Sultanate of Pasir. East Kalimantan region include Pasir, Kutai, Barao and also Karasakan, Buran and pre-Sultanate of Sulu claimed as conquered territory Suryanata Maharaja, the governor of Majapahit in the state Dipa, which is located in the Great Temple in Amuntai until 1620 in the Sultanate of Banjar. Between the years 1620–1624, kingdoms in East Kalimantan turned into an area influence of the Sultanate of Sultan Aladdin Makassar, before the Bungaya Agreement. According to the Hikayat Banjar, the Sultan of Makassar never borrowed land for trade covers an area east and southeast of Borneo to the Sultan Mustain Villa of Banjar when Kiai Martasor sent to Makassar and entered into an agreement with the Sultan Talo the first Mangnudachina Dang I Ba. Le. Sultan Mahmud Karang Patangaloang, which became Mankabumi and principal advisor to the Sultan Muhammad said, King of Gawa in 1638-1654 and also in law of Sultan Hassanuddin, which will make the East Kalimantan region as a place to trade for the Sultanate of Makassar, Gawa Talo, since that began to arrive people from South Sulawesi. However, based on the agreement between the Sultanate of Banjar and the Dutch East India Company BOC, in 1635, BOC helped Banjar restore lands in East Kalimantan into spheres of influence of the Sultanate of Banjar. It is embodied in the Bungaya Agreement, that the Sultanate of Makassar are not allowed to trade up to the east and the north Borneo. In accordance tracts January 1, 1817, Sultan Suleiman of Banjar handed East Kalimantan, Central Kalimantan, part of West and South Kalimantan including Banjarmasan, to the Dutch East Indies. On May 4, 1826, Sultan Adam al wadiq Billa of Banjar reaffirmed the handover East Kalimantan, Central Kalimantan, part of West and South Kalimantan to the Dutch East Indies Colonial Administration. In 1846, the Dutch began to put a resident assistant in East Borneo at Samarinda, now the province of East Kalimantan and the eastern part of South Kalimantan, named H. Von Duhl. East Kalimantan is then part of the Dutch East Indies. East Kalimantan province in addition to a unity administration, as well as ecological and historical unity. East Kalimantan as the administrative area was established based on the law No. 25 of 1956 with the first governor being Gis Ap Pranodo. Geography East Kalimantan region comprising land area of 127,267.52 square kilometers and comprehensive ocean management 25,656 square kilometers, located between 113 degrees 44 and 119 degrees 00 east longitude, and between 2 degrees 33 north latitude and 2 degrees 25. South Latitude. With the development and regional divisions, East Kalimantan, which is the third largest province after Papua and Central Kalimantan, is divided into seven districts, three cities, 103 districts and 1,026 villages, Kelyorahan. Tuju the district is the capital of Pasar Land Grogat, Kutai Barat with capital Sendawar, Kukar with capital Tengarong, Kutai Timur to the capital Sangata, Barao with capital Tanjung Radeb, Penajam Penajam Pasar Utara with capital and with capital Mahakam Ulu Long Bagan, a division of Kutai Barat. 
while the three municipalities are Balakpapan, Samarinda, Bontang. East Kalimantan is one of the main gates in the eastern part of Indonesia. The area is also known as a storehouse of timber and mining has hundreds of rivers are scattered in almost all districts, cities and is the main means of transportation in addition to land transport, with the longest river Mahakam, Provinzi River East Kalimantan is located in the most eastern island of Borneo. Precisely this province is directly adjacent to the north of North Borneo, the Celebes Sea and the Makassar Strait in the east, South Kalimantan in the south, and West Kalimantan, Central Kalimantan and Malaysia in the west. East Kalimantan mainland cannot be separated from the hills or almost all districts. The number of lakes in the province is also quite a lot of about 18 pieces. Most lakes are located in the Kutai Regency with the most extensive lake that is Lake Semayang and Malintang, each of which has an area of 13,000 hectares and 11,000 hectares. Climate such a climate of Indonesia in general, East Kalimantan tropical climate and has two seasons, dry and rainy seasons. The dry season usually occurs in May to October, while the rainy season in November to April. This situation continued every year interspersed with transitional season in certain months. Moreover, because of its location on the equator, the climate in East Kalimantan are also affected by wind monsoon. Monsoon wind is November to April west and east monsoon winds from May to October. In recent years, the situation in East Kalimantan season is sometimes erratic. In the months that it is supposed to rain, there is no rain at all, or vice versa in the months that should be dry it rains for a much longer time. Temperature and humidity Temperatures somewhere high and low are determined by the area of the ocean surface and the distance from the beach. In general, East Kalimantan hot climates with temperatures in 2013 ranged from 21.6 C in Barao October to 35.6 C in Barao in September. The average temperature is lowest and the highest 22, 1 C 35, 1 C occur in Barao. Aside from being a tropical area with extensive forests, in 2013 the average humidity between 83 to 87% of East Kalimantan. The lowest air humidity observed by the meteorological station Samarinda happens in a few months with 82% humidity. While the highest occurred in Barao in February with 91% humidity. Rainfall and wind conditions Rainfall in East Kalimantan region varies by month and location of monitoring stations. Average highest rainfall recorded at the meteorological station Barao amounted to 245.1 mm and the lowest for the year 2013 was recorded at the meteorological station Samarinda as 237.8 mm. At some monitoring stations monitor wind conditions in East Kalimantan in 2013. Observations show that wind speeds between 3 and 4 knots. The highest wind speed was 4 knots in Balakpapan and Barao, while the lowest was 3 knots in Samarinda. Administrative divisions Until 2012, East Kalimantan was divided into 10 regencies Kabupaten, and 4 cities Kota. On the 22nd of October 2012, the Indonesian House of Representatives agreed to the creation of a new province out of the four most northerly of the regencies in East Kalimantan, namely Malanau Regency, Nunukan Regency, Tana Tiding Regency and Bulungan Regency, together with one city, Tarakan. Accordingly, these were split off to form the new province of North Kalimantan on 25 October 2012, leaving the following regencies and cities to comprise the reduced East Kalimantan. Ecology Illegal logging has removed much of the original forests of the province. Less than half the original forest remains in places such as the Kayan Mentorang the Kutai National Parks. The projects that supports tropical rainforest conservation includes a WWF project and Samboha Lestari Lodge, one of Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation's reforestation and orangutan rehabilitation projects. Economy East Kalimantan's economy heavily depends on earth resources such as oilfield exploration, natural gas, coal and gold. 
Balakpapan has an oil refinery plant that was built by Dutch governance before World War II, destroyed during World War II, and rebuilt after Indonesian independence. Other developing economic sectors include agriculture and tourism. Obstacles to economic development include a lack of transportation infrastructure. Transportation depends on traditional boats connecting coastal cities and areas along Main River, Mahakam River. In 2012, Russia S. State railway firm Joint Stock Company JSC, signed a memorandum of understanding with the East Kalimantan governor over railway lines to transport coal and other freight. The first stage will connect an area near Balakpapan port to West Kutai Regency in a 183-kilometer line and is estimated to cost about $1.8 billion. It will commence in 2013 and by 2017 it is hoped that it carry 20 million tons of coal annually. The second phase will connect a line to Murang Raya in central Kalimantan with a 60 km line, which will cost an estimated $600 million. Several oil fields have been discovered in the Mahakam River Delta, including Ataka, Badak, Sembera, Nilam, Sangha Sangha, Bekapai, Handel, Samboha, Jakin, and Sepingan. The Handel, Badak, and Bekapai fields are anticline structural traps with oil reservoir sandstones between 450 and 2,900 meters. The delta is in the Kute Basin, bounded by the Mankalahad and Paternoster Carbonate Arch, containing Eocene shales overlain by Oligocene fluvial deposits during marine regression, culminating in the formation of the delta in the late Miocene. Tourist sites in addition to Darawan Islands, East Kalimantan has a unique natural site, Labuan Sermon Lake at Bidik Bidik District which features fresh water on top with about 2 meters thickness and sea water underneath it. Both fresh water fish and sea water fish live in the lake inhabiting their respective habitat layer. Sermon means mirror in Indonesian language and the lake was named so due to the clarity of the water. North Kalimantan Province North Kalimantan was formally inaugurated as the 34th province of Indonesia on April 15, 2013. The new province was previously part of East Kalimantan Province and Arianto Lambri will be acting as the governor of it until a new governor is chosen by their people in an election. Demographics Ethnicity the majority ethnic group in East Kalimantan is the Javanese 30.24%, which is spread in almost all regions, especially the transmigration areas to urban areas. The second largest ethnic namely Bugis 20.81%, which occupy many coastal areas and urban areas. The third largest ethnicity is Banjar 12.45%, were quite dominant in the city of Samarinda and Balakpapan. East Kalimantan is a major destination of origin of Java, Sulawesi and South Kalimantan. In the fourth place is the Dayak 9.94%, which occupies the interior part of the province. Kutai 7.80%, which inhabit Kutai, East Kutai and Kutai Bharat was fifth. In the 6th to 10 consecutive namely Toraja 2.21%, Pasar 1.89%, Sunda 1.57%, Madura 1.32% and Otto Bhutan 1.25% and other tribes from various regions in Indonesia. Language People in East Kalimantan generally use the Indonesian language and the Banjar language. Distribution of East Kalimantan to the Banjar language because of the large number of overseas South Kalimantan Banjar ethnic origin so the language Banjar used as a daily language, especially in the city of Samarinda and Balakpapan. Speakers Javanese and Bugis language is also quite large in East Kalimantan for many migrants from Java and Sulawesi inhabiting East Kalimantan. Other languages spoken people in East Kalimantan is Kutai, Pasar language, language Tiding, Barao language, language Tunjing, Bahau language, the language and the language Madang Lundaya. Religion References, <references>